Good morning, friends. It is September 12th. And you can see the tomatoes are still producing. They're doing great. I did see one hornworm on the ground and we got rid of it. But as, of, as for hornworms in general, I have been lucky for the past couple of years. You can see, and then up here, we got flowers. So they're going to produce again. I do believe they're pretty happy. Get this off the ground. I do believe that they're pretty happy. It's cooler temperatures. I think it got down to 58. So we're getting into fall. And I noticed that it is starting to die back some. So what I've been doing is I've just been moving, removing the dead. And um, just so that way they don't have to spend their energy on fixing themselves. You can see right here. We got a bunch of little tomatoes. I think I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make pizza sauce with the small tomatoes. You can see I got tomatoes back here. This plant is just a producer, and I would definitely suggest the Sun Gold. It just produces. I mean, I just. I'm amazed how much, you know, the little tomatoes I got, cherry tomatoes, my husband will come out here every day because I don't put stuff on my, you know, uh, pesticides on my plants. So the only thing I did pesticide was, was my squash, but I just told him that, you know, it's very important that even if though that I don't put pesticides on for him to go ahead and just rinse. A good rinse on him before he pops them in his mouth because he'll come out here and just eat them you know he, he he has no shame in his game he got a tomato down here that's ripening I got tomatoes just all over the place and of course more flowers I've been putting uh, I've been putting jumping spiders out here I had one with my that was hanging around my carnivorous plants in the house and I didn't want it to get hurt so I brought it outside I'm deathly scared of spiders but for some reason jumping spiders they don't bother me you can look down here these are those uh, tomato plants that came in those containers they're supposed to be for your porch I would never suggest those and they were 20 bucks a container and they just did horribly. I put them in the ground and they're just they're just exploding. You know, they, they're doing great. Some more serranos. I picked, a, I harvested a lot of them, but there's more right here. You can see that's coming. I even have habanero up front coming. And all the tomatoes in here. It's just producing. I mean, I love it. And then got green beans right here and we, we I replanted some um, cucumbers right here but my dog keeps running in here because stray dogs come around and she runs in here and she's been trampling them so hopefully that'll actually do something right there because I am not happy with that she knows I'm not happy and my sunflower you can see the seeds I'm fixing to pop that off and take the seeds for next year. And then, of course, my neighbor's uh, tomatoes. She's got a beautiful tomato plant and stuff that right here. Just literally took over. Her peppers are beautiful. Uh, these are really hot. I don't know what kind of peppers they are. If you do, let me know what kind they are. My husband loves them. So... But they're absolutely gorgeous. We told her she could uh, plant up against our fence. 
you know, that's a neighborly thing to do. I mean, what's it going to hurt? She helped, you know, she cleans up her mess when it, the garden's over with, you know, when you're not working the garden anymore. And, you know, all's good. So we don't mind sharing our fence with her. She, If she can plant some veggies and enjoy it, then that's all that matters. But you can see all her tomatoes. I mean, these, because of a storm, it knocked the, the tomato plant over. And, but she's still producing wildly a lot of tomatoes. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with her tomatoes. And then right here, you can see this, you know, it's all been cleaned up. I planted some pak choy, which is basically bok choy, um, in here uh, yesterday morning, right before it started raining. So they like moist, you know, like a moist, you know, environment. So I got to definitely keep an eye on that. So here's another tomato. You can see I got flowers. They're just going nuts. You know, this is a red ch uh, cherry tomato. So, I was really displeased with it in the beginning, but you can see, I mean, it's just, it's going nuts. Nothing like the sun gold, but it's just, it's producing, and that's all that matters to me. This is where her squash and all that was, and it was just eaten alive by squash bugs. And I did spray for, uh, I put seven, seven dust for, uh, vegetable gardens I put it all in here just to get rid of the squash bugs and it seemed to have worked she took all that out and took it all all, all to the back and uh, so bye squash bugs yeah, I'll see you next year so she did plant cucumbers near them but a mole got in and tore them up so I gotta add some more water to that I wanted to wait until after it rained so I can clean that out the squirrels love it. The birds love it. Hummingbirds come in here all the time for this. I absolutely love it. I think it's a, a great idea to give, you know, to your uh, wildlife, you know, some water. Like this winter, I'll take get some uh, berry salt cubes or sugar cubes, the big blocks, and take them out back for the deer. I'll, I'll even take some salt cubes back there, you know, for the deer. So this is our raspberry. My husband's been out here like every day picking and eating these things. He absolutely loves them. We have a snoodle that comes out here with him, but you can see they pick off real nice. And they're good. So, I got one out of it. And then this is a raspberry right here. And my tomato plant's kind of growing into it. It's okay. Not going to hurt anything. And here's... It's a Roma, Roman... Roman tomatoes. And, uh... They're producing really well. see right there and then we got a red one or a slightly red see if we can get a picture of it oh I don't know there it is you can see it it's about ready to be picked in fact I think it is ready to be picked nope it's got a little green on it and these are five plants I planted five plants really close together and they're doing great. Just kind of, you know, I had extra seeds and popped them in here. And they're uh, about a month behind the other tomato plants. So that's why they're doing good. I did this in succession. So I'm going to go over here. And these are Roman tomatoes too. And they're just about done. I don't think they're 
Gonna keep, well, I, got, I guess we got some flowers starting right there. So I'm just kind of watching them. And here's some more. But I noticed in the buckets, they do this. And so I just throw them over. But you can, you can take them off, I mean, once they're ripe and cut that part out and still eat it. But, I mean, I've gotten so many tomatoes this year, you know, losing a few. But for some reason, this, especially this plant, you can see. And I just throw it over my fence. Because, you know, you don't want to throw it in the yard. You don't want the dogs to get a hold of it. So, and I got one right down here. Hopefully it's not messed up, but it probably will be. Because this plant just didn't do very good. You can see, right there. Alright, so I just threw it over. No biggie. But I do take off the... You know the dead so and then you know so that way it doesn't have to pay attention to the the stuff but so you know this is was a test different kind of tomato didn't do good in the buckets I won't do that these in, in a bucket again Definitely not. So here's my carrots, and you can see they're they're producing. See my carrots down there. They're liking life. I don't know. There's another one right there. My husband told me I couldn't do carrots in a bucket. Well, apparently he was wrong. So I'm gonna get seeds off of these guys so that way I have them for next year so that's one thing I need to be doing here soon but I got a garage to scrape and paint so I don't have I don't have time to put into it I got green beans right here some more green beans and these are my radishes that really don't think they're going to do anything I don't think they like the bucket, but it was just a kind of a test. So, and I got some more. This this one's kind of, I think this one's pretty much done, you know. But you can see under here, it looks good. So, it's just that one bucket. That one bucket was giving me a hole in the head. Let's see if I can get this one over the fence. Look at that. Looks like something bit into it, but it still looks good. All right, I gotta add water to the puppy's bowls. But that is our garden. That limb right there is gonna be going bye bye. Hopefully, this coming weekend. A big limb that goes over our fence. It's an elm tree, it's having issues and it's dying and we just don't want to take that chance so my plan is today after we go to the assessment hearing uh, because they want to they went up a hundred percent on our tax uh, property tax and uh, we're gonna fight that there ain't no way my house is not worth what they're trying to say it is I wish it was but it's not you know, there's too much work to be done to the house. We got to do siding. We got to do windows. We got to fix the chimney. I got, we got to paint. You know, I mean, it's just it's so much. And that's just fixing things and a little bit of lipstick on it. And then the inside needs to be painted. I, I need new cabinets. I need, I need, it's just so much that needs to be done. You know, they're saying we have a finished basement. We have a rock basement. A rock it's not finished it's very much industrial you know uh, you can go down there you can do your laundry but as, as for being finished it is not finished so we're gonna fight them so this is my Meyer lemon I have a jumping spider on here I uh, every day come out and spritz the leaves some of them and um, around where the jumping spider is so that way it can drink and I have one that's on my fence over by the tomato plants and I also put water there 
and uh, some water on the wood stuff I you know the wood stuff for I have for that outline my garden I put water there just a little bit of water in some areas where I know that where they're at so they can get a drink but you can see it's very happy I think over here it's got some new coming on if I can find it it's got so much stuff I mean it's just really it's really hard to see it didn't produce this year but it may produce next year and I get to tell everybody what I think about it and even if it doesn't produce I enjoy this plant my husband there it is there's a new limb coming up right there so it's happy they get to try to bring it in the house <laughs> we'll see we'll see how well they do because <clears throat> I told them I don't want no broken limbs and uh, it can't stay outside I mean it, there's no choice it has to go inside and if it starts getting too big for it to go in and out of the door then I'll just have to keep it in the house but yeah that's that's my plant it's doing good it's happy. I'm happy. We're all happy. Let's all be just really happy together. So, this is my garden. It's September. A little, little nipply out. So, uh, my husband was like, oh, I can see my breath. It's not that cold. <laughs> but my tomatoes are happy. They're, they're still producing. My raspberry is still producing. I got cucumbers going. I got more green beans going. And I got that uh, bok choy that I'm, I planted yesterday. They like cooler temperatures. I did mention about my tropical plant over here. I do know that uh, you need to put it to sleep over the winter. So I'm just going to uh, cut the leaves back, cover it, put it in my basement. But you can see it's happy. We went from bad to happy. Because right there, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's the first time I've ever seen it do that. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, friend. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. For, you know, So that way you know you can see the upcoming videos. I have a bunch of videos in my playlist. Check it out. Enjoy yourself and have a great day. Bye, friend.